what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today i'm excited because for the first time in a few weeks i'm actually getting the chance to go to locals but in today's video though i actually don't have my deck complete there's a couple things that i'm missing and this is a deck that i've been really high on recently it's actually sprite tri brigade but i'm missing the sprite cards funny enough so i gotta go to local see if i can get those before we can even start playing so if you guys are watching this video it's because I got the cards and we played locals. If you guys do enjoy these vlogs, though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We do deck profiles, combo videos. If you guys actually want to see the deck profile and the combo video for the Sprite Tri Brigade, it's already on the channel so you guys can check that out. But we upload five days a week here on Spanko, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, I'm excited, so let's finally get to locals for the first time in like a month. All right, we made it to Untouched. Let's go see if we can find the cards we need so we can even play in today's locals. By the way, I brought my camera too, my camera right over there, so we can get some duels. So you guys are going to get some live footage here as well. I don't know if I'm going to get my duels, but I will definitely get something for the channel for you guys. Because you guys know every single Friday we do live locals duels. So uh, yeah, I got my camera, got the vlog going. I'm excited for today. I hope I hope it's going to be a good day. I don't know. I'm excited. Boys, we got the cards. Thanks to Anthony. Anthony's over there. But thanks to Anthony, we got the Sprite stuff. So we're playing in today's local. And our first opponent is actually Benjamin. So uh, it's going to be a fun day. Polymerization. Red reboot. Oh, <laughs> uh, you had it. All right. Uh, round one did not go so great, to be honest with you. I played game one super wrong. Call me a brick monkey. Oh no! What happened, baby? I, I played game one wrong. I'm not gonna. Be, I'm gonna be honest. Game two, I had D Barry Imperm set because I open. I bricked, but I had D Barry Imperm, so I'm like D Barry buys me a turn, right? And then he goes red reboot. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky round one. Unlucky. I just have to go XO the rest of the way. There you go, there you go. I just have to go XO the rest of the way. Okay, listen, I misplayed. It's Again, it's really my first time playing the deck for real. But uh, in theory, this deck is really good. Actually, it's more than just theory. It actually plays out pretty well. I misplayed. So if I played that correctly, because I saw the line after, and I'm like, oh, if I play that correctly, I win game one super easily. So yeah, it's not the deck's fault. Listen, it's not the deck's fault. But you know, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. If, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I wouldn't tell you guys otherwise, right? So I'm going to keep you guys updated, though. I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm actually probably going to play out the whole local even if I end up not doing well because I want to test the deck as much as possible but I will say this the deck that I'm playing today is not exactly like my other list because I decided to cut fair G to one if I had the second fair jeet I literally win round one so I need I need to go back to the extra deck but the main deck is where it good the main deck is beautiful it's just the extra deck that needs to work oh. <laughs> and then there's the what is, what is going on <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. You guys saw. I'm just gonna. I, I'm just gonna put it there. I, you guys saw how it went. Game game two, I went off. Game two, I popped off. I did the full combo. I went second. I got to OTK my opponent. I went first. Opened not that great, but I opened uh, D Barrier, which pretty much let him pass his turn. And then on my turn, I drew Rescue Cat. And you guys know Rescue Cat is just full combo because Rescue Cat alone got me to OTK. So I got to OTK my opponent, which is really cool. 2K plus 14 is 34. Yeah. Plus 17 is 50, uh, 51. Plus 12 is 66. Uh, 63 plus 16 is 79 plus 58. Yeah, yeah. Game three. I'm going second, right? I obviously sided my hand traps. I have hand traps in the round and I see none of them. I see an Imperm and I was like, okay, Imperm is not bad. If I go second, I get to Imperm is Magnifica. I did that and then he tagged out, whatever's all good. And then he flipped, goes a match. And then I was like, oh, okay. Well, I had Dark Ruler in my hand, but goes a match, I auto lose too. And then he showed me after he had a second goes a match. So uh, whatever, we're X2 today, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the deck is perfectly fine. I don't think it's a deck's fault round one again it was totally me i misplayed round two i didn't misplay at all i think i played round two perfectly but yeah you know double goes and match is not fun i don't know i don't know guys sprite try i'm still very confident in this deck i still think this deck is very good i need to work on the extra deck though uh, i'm gonna be honest with you i think you need to play two fair G. but the sky cavalry can centuria is a really good card so i can't cut the zeus package because sky cavalry is too good but i gotta figure out something to cut bro the extra deck's really tight i'll keep you guys updated though for the rest of the night i think i'm gonna play one more round i don't top regardless now at x2 but i think i'm gonna play one more round just because i want more testing with the deck so uh we'll see what ends up happening uh let me get back in there and then we'll get ready for round three 
so you guys can see that I'm home. And uh, yeah, it wasn't the best day for us. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was not the best day. We ended up going X2. Our third match was against our friend Anthony, so we were just playtesting, having fun. I was just learning the deck, but there is one thing I wanna say about the deck, all right? Because I think it's kind of important to note. And pretty much what I wanna say, while I fix my lighting here, because yeah, there we go, it was kind of dark. Okay, so what I wanna say about the deck is uh, one thing mainly, is that it actually has a very high ceiling. I think the deck is very, very good. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of the reason why I lost was my own misplays. That's the thing I wanted to mention, where I think this deck actually takes a lot to learn, and it's a very complex deck. It's actually not an easy deck at all to play. You may think the combo lines are easy, but then when you start to playing in a real game, you have to start thinking like what order you're gonna do things in. You know, Sprite Starter is gonna lock you into level two, so you have to go Revolt first. You have to make sure you have enough zones for Revolt. It's a very complicated deck. When it resolves though, when it works, it works. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, and it works very often. It just, you really lose to your own misplays, and it definitely does not reward you for misplaying. You definitely get punished for misplaying in this deck. So that's one thing that I learned in today's locals, and that's fine because I wanted to take it to locals to actually get some testing in. And I had bad matchups, but I still think I performed really well, or I should say the deck performed well, but I didn't perform well. That that's the main thing. Okay, so I ended up losing because I feel like I played it wrong. Because every time I made a play or ended my board or did something, I would look back at it and be like, if I just did it this way or sequenced it this way or you know committed like this, then I would have just had a much better end board or a much better time against my opponents so yeah so it's definitely my misplays i'll be honest with you guys but at the end of the day this was a learning experience and it was a very good learning experience because i know now where to take this deck and how to play this deck properly because i think in the future it's actually going to be a very good deck it's a very underrated deck try it out for yourselves but trust me when i say Get a lot of play testing in. Don't just know the combos. Obviously, if you guys want to see the combos, it's already on the channel. I know I've just been rambling on, but I do want to say essentially to sum it all up, I think the deck is very, very powerful. I just think it's very, very complex. So you definitely do need to learn the ins and outs of the deck because the synergy with the deck is really, really good, but you do have to sequence it very, very weirdly. So it's a complex deck, but it's a very, very good deck. Now, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Like always, if you guys do enjoy these vlogs or any of the videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. And and channel members you guys get early access to all my videos so if you haven't joined the slifer slackers make sure to join today because you guys get early access as well as a bunch of other perks to all my videos so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko sign it out peace